Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and tonight I want to do the money save. Well, today. Today. It's the daytime for you guys, but it's nighttime for me. So, um, I'm actually recording this on Thursday, so there's time difference and it's scheduled releases. Whatever. Um, real quick, the music that you're hearing in the background is actually Kevin, Kevin MacLeod, and it's called Ambient the Ambient. <clears throat> so, you know, I needed the ambient music for the background. Kevin MacLeod's one of my favorite artists. <coughs> well, free artist. Um, okay, before I go flying off the handle here, <clears throat> this save player data, it's actually inside my book. Um, whenever I do the, the save da data, this is the same example that I give in the book. And the reason I give this model is because it goes right in line with everything that we've been talking about with module scripting. Um, server storage <clears throat> okay so first thing you want to do come in here we're going to go to server storage we're going to create a new insert object module script module 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 <laughs> Not model. Let's get that out of there here script module script there we go so this module script, we're just going to call it um, money save, I think. Money save. <clears throat> they might call it something else. Who knows? They call it player stat manager. Do we want to do that? I have no clue. It's been a little while since I've looked at this thing. Anyhow, um, go to the very last one. Uh, handling data storage, P call, local person, this one right here. So this one is actually the full script. So I'm going to copy the whole thing and I'm going to walk through, through it with you. <clears throat> they call it player stat manager. I don't like that. So I'm going to copy that and control H. We're going to call it actually, no, let's call it player stat manager because we can use it to save other things later on. So let's call it player stat manager. So this module script works just like the module script that we were talking about the other day. First thing that you need is the constructor. All right. And that's this equals table. And basically we're going to return this object with all these things down here in the bottom. So the local data storage, this is going to be our service game, get service data storage, player data equals data store service, 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 service. And then um, the one that's called player data. Now, if for later on you had like this, um, we could call it uh, base data. We could call this one base data. So the actual service, there's going to be two different tables that we could return. The different stores, okay? Um, a table to hold our session data so this is going to be fired off every time that a server runs so each server is going to have its own session of data data so when a player joins that player gets added into this table and their score their money is going to be added into um that table their name their id their um value all right and then when they save the same thing happens that value is saved to the data store and then yeah, okay yeah, let's continue on. Auto save interval. This is um, basically, you could set this to 30 seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds, whatever interval. This is once a minute, it's going to save automatically. And that comes in down here later on with the auto save. <sighs> we'll get to it, promise. <clears throat> Function that other uh, scripts can call to change the player stats. So um, change player stat. I don't like that. So we could actually uh, run this and I think you have to do this. I don't think you can do this from a local script. Can you do this from a local script? Because that would be bad. Because then we could just have somebody with a... Okay, hold on. <coughs> player stat manager. Change stat. So that's a function of the player stat manager. We're passing in the player, the stat name we want to change, and the value. So imagine, here, let's do Excel. Let's imagine that you have 
a table. Product activated. Restart the... What? Get out of here. Excel. I thought I've used Excel on this thing before. Whatever. So, um, imagine this as, like, the data store. It's, it's completely blank. It doesn't know what's what. Um, these row numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, they don't even exist yet. So, let's say a player comes into the game. Um, what... Are we passing in? We're passing in player stat value. So um, we're just gonna call it uh, player money value, like that. All right. So we'd get code. Um, oh, I guess it wouldn't be money. And two hundred. And this isn't actually code. It'd be like code number 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 all right because it's gonna it's gonna be player underscore and then that player's unique id so but as they come into the game right you get a second player third player fourth player however many players and it would load in like this and each person, as they came in, this would be the se the session data, the player's unique identifier and their value. All right. So what we could do is we could call here. I don't want to save that. Get away. We can call this change stat, and we can give them a positive or a negative value to change that value inside the table. Um, <coughs> assert type of. I don't even know what assert is. What is assert? Assert. Assert. Mm, types do not match. Change that error. Type of value. Oh. So like if I were to pass in um, a different type value. So like a string. If I if I said um no pad. If I said um Change, uh, let's do a period, dot, change stat code primate, comma, money, comma, and then I said 12. Okay, it doesn't know that that, well, it, it does know, that's why it's checking to see the, the type of value. So if the type of the value that I'm checking for, money, is an integer and the type that I'm passing in is a string it's gonna be like that's what are you doing idiot so this is actually going to check to make sure that hey we're passing in the number 12 and we're not passing in 12 like that so which by the way um, this could actually be evaluated two ways because Lou is not very picky about its data value or data not data value uh, data types um, okay next is local user player ID um, so we actually pass in the player player ID user ID so um, local player user ID is player underscore and then the user ID this is what I was telling saying earlier um, whenever it's stored so like head out to Roblox. Let's go to my profile. Do, 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 do. Right here. So mine would actually be like this. It'd be player underscore paste. That would be mine. And then I would have like money two billion dollars or something like that. Okay. All right. Next. So after this is checked, okay, we have a, a good value. We create the local ID. If type of session data, player ID, stat name is a number, then session ID, stat name equals session ID, stat name plus value, which is passed in right here. So if it's an, uh, a type of number, it's going to take the number that, that is there and add the value that we pa pasted in. So if I add a negative value, negative 12 right I don't know why I'm using 12 um, so if I've got 200 and I do negative 12 
I add negative 12 to it. It actually minuses it from because it's a, ne a ne negative. The, never mind. <clears throat> but if uh, the session data is not a number, then the stat name equals value. So say I have task one complete, right? And its current value is false or no. I, I guess I couldn't use false because it would be bit. And a bit could be a zero or a one. Zero being false, one being true. So say I have uh, task one complete, no, right? Then I could change it to task no, uh, task one complete, yes. So I could actually add that in. So how do we add? Okay, set up player data. So uh, the first thing that we do is we grab player underscore user ID uh, on success give data then we run a p call function which is a it's a process call return player data get async wow okay run player data get async where did we get player data from player data equals data sort storage service okay so the data storage service, this is the actual table that we're working with. So we run git async for that player. Oh, right, because of the way that we save it is the player ID. So if it was successful, then if data, so if we got a successful p call, we ran the async, we got information back from the table. If it was successful, then do this stuff in here. If not, then give us a warning, which is going to be the red text down here, cannot access the data store for the player. Cannot access data store, which means it was a bad P call or that player just doesn't exist. No, because we could still get a successful call with no data. So that would that would literally be a a network failure. <clears throat> latency problem, a failed P call, something like that. So the next is um, if we have data, then we say session data player user ID equals the data that was returned. So it's going to be a, a table of things inside the session session data. It would be like that entire row. Um, let's go back to the Excel example. So like we would have um, user ID, which would be player underscore paste, right? So this is this is what my table would contain. Uh, money, money, uh, XP, um, task one complete, stuff like this. Task to complete. Um, oh, we could also do like has badge, but we, we would want to check that every single time inside the script. We don't want to have to like call it. Oh, here we go. How about this? Has power or has the power. Uh, this is something that actual, um, the real world scenario, Defaultio had added it, um, but in the data stores, whenever somebody would go and purchase it, if they had not saved on a new slot or if, uh, if they were in an old game, like, oh, oh, here it was. If they had gone and bought the power and then they loaded into an old server that had not gotten the update yet, they lost the power. It would show that they had the purchase, but the, the data store that was saving or uploading whatever he used in the background, it wouldn't um, give him the power. It was, it was bad. Anyhow, he got that fixed, which was pretty simple. <clears throat> so, um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, this is da -da -da -da. Uh, no, yes, kinda has the power. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave that up because we're going to use that some more examples. So for right now, I'm not going to use experience. So I'm just going to take that out. We don't need experience. Well, I mean. You need experience in life and everyday task, but not here.
not in this particular instance. Okay, so that is the set up player data. <coughs> data, 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 data. Next is we're going to have a function to um, save player data and save on exit. And then there's an autosave function. Um, spawn, it just starts it, starts the autosave. And uh, you can actually, you could use spawn in a script that calls multiple scripts and have them all running various tasks. So you could have like four module scripts and then one master script that does spawn, 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 spawn. And that would start the task over here in these lists. Of course, you'd have to control it later, which would follow the MVC module visual controller. It's a ASP.net thing. Never mind. <coughs> Servers, scripts. Um, connect. Okay, so anytime a player is added, we want to connect the set up player data. Anytime a player is removed, we want to connect the save on exit. And then the whole thing is returned in this nice, neat little package that we can use and call and do things with. So these two right here are automatically done. They don't need to be initiated. And this is automatically done. It doesn't need to be initiated. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> now does this I don't think I don't think this actually saves like we're not going to be able to see this are we hold on I'm just going to hit play yeah there's no money value up there so stop we're going to need that scoreboard do you guys remember the scoreboard hmm <clears throat> So, um, let's see. Scoreboard could go in replicated storage. Uh, or we could go in here. Let's do an insert object. Server script? <clears throat> uh, on. Wait. Okay, we want, the, we want the same one that whenever a user is added or removed. I guess I could just use added. We don't really need removed. So, do this. And we're going to need uh, connect add scoreboard board board <clears throat> function add scoreboard goes under what does this go under again so leader stats right leader stats leader stats leader stats I had leader stats in there somewhere um, player dot uh, hold up hit play this goes under players code primate I don't think I add it under GUI do I Insert object. Hmm. Hold on. <sighs> Roblox theater stats. Theater stats. There we go. How to make a leaderboard. No, that's not that stack overflow. Get out of here. In-game leaderboards. Du -du -du -du. Instance is a new folder. On player join leader stats and it's a new folder. Uh, parent is player. Connect and join. Yeah, see, this is this is what I wanted. Leader stats player join. <clears throat> but I wanted to connect it to our service. This is display instance gold. Okay, here, copy this gold. Copy, copy, copy. Wait, is that a, that's a server script, right? In script service. Yeah, that's where we're at, script service. Where's this at? Where did I add that? Is that 
and server storage. <sighs> Leaderboard. Here. Easy peasy. Yep, we know that that's in there. Oh, and a script named player setup. I need player setup. I got player setup done here. Player stat manager. So it's got leader stats as a folder. Adds the folder to the player. And we don't want to say gold. We're going to call it money. Um, the value right off the bat is zero. But we can do this. Um, player stat manager equals require game dot get service server storage because we we are working with the server script service right so I can do that wait let's see wait for child layer stat manager so basically if this script starts before the other script starts we want to make sure that we wait for this script to actually generate we don't want to have <clears throat> our leaderboard trying to grab information from something that doesn't exist yet we're going to get a whole bunch of crashes and stuff so we're going to just going to call this money money copy paste 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 and i don't like that it's got a capital m does it matter if it's capital m i guess it doesn't really matter anyhow it's going to be an int value uh leader stats what would call this over here this was just called money right that's no, capital m money uh so we make sure that this is here uh money dot value equals player stat manager colon get then we have a, a call for this there's a change stat hold on player setup okay check this out so whenever you're inside script if you right click here and do collapse all folds it'll give you basically the functions that are available to you so the functions that are available inside our um, player stat manager are set up player save player data save on exit auto save so I don't have just a git git value do I okay so let's uh, expand all folds so we have a change stat let's do a git stat Oops. Where are you? so Function, fun, function to retrieve a current value. So, um, function player stat manager colon get stat player stat name and. <coughs> local player user ID equals here where it's just the same line as this one right here paste and then we are going to do return session data and then player user ID dot value dot value I think it's dot value it could be dot value who knows could be something else we don't know so that should return the number zero um, for our first setup um, I'm going to set value to 200 that's probably not gonna work because I've already ran this once. Do, 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 do. 
so I can't actually see my value of my money yet. Poo. Oh. Get stat. Stat. Money. There we go. Service storage. Concatenated user ID and nil value. What? What? Oh. Uh, we passed in player right here. So copy. Get stat. Player. Comma. Money. Play. Now that could be kind of bad because... Yes, maybe. So, no. Attempted to index question and now fine. What? Um, attempted to index field question mark. What? So let's take this right here. Let's just take a look at the set up here data, paste session data. Let's see if we get a print. Still trying to index session data. Oh, did I call it before? Initialized. Or do I need to local it? Local function. This is a local function. So this would be a local function. Maybe. Possibly. I have no clue. Stat manager. Hold on, let's go back over here. Did I do this right? Player stat manager. Local function. Local function is inside the game, it's, or inside the. This, I don't want to be a local function. I want this to be, oops, called from the outside. So get back up there. That's that was correct. Because we want to be able to get the stat. And shouldn't this return data? Function player stat manager get stat. ID equals player underscore dot dot player dot user ID <coughs> and then it returns session user ID stat name. That's fine. That works. That's good. It is a good call. Why am I getting an attempt to index field question mark? Okay, there's no thing yet. If, if session data, then we can return it. Else return nil. And 
Because if I haven't gotten any money yet, or if there's no money to be initialized, then we wouldn't get it yet. Attempted to index field. out for just a second. Hit stop. And let's just hit play and see if this works. No, oh, I gotta take that back up too. Uh, dash dash. Give it a zero. Stop. Play. Okay, we've got money. There's that mouse hit stuff from yesterday. Okay, so under players, code primate, leader stats, money. We've got that, okay. Um, how do I look at the local value of the table that I know is there? Data storage. Data storage, F11, row 11, 11, that's maximize. Hmm. Okay, stop. Let's go back over to our scripts that we were playing with yesterday. Uh, player, 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 player. Laser beams, visualize the mouse. We're going to right click. We're just going to disable that for right now. F5. Okay, I got a table back. Stop. So, we printed the table. Print the section data. Um, let's do print the count of session data. See what we get back. Zero. There is currently nothing. There is no information inside the player data. So. Um, <clears throat> where was that print at? Right here. So, on success. Let's do this. Print. We found data. On the else print, we didn't find find diddly. Here we go. We found data. Okay. So that works under Stat Manager. So let's print the data that we found. Print data. I think we're going to get a table back. Yep, we got a table. So let's do for each in pairs and see what that data contains. So for um, index object in pairs data, do print I come up. Oh. This way we can see everything that's inside the data table. Money, 200. Yes! And that's at an index of my table. So, let's hit stop. Um, go back over here. And we haven't saved it yet, right? I don't think we've saved it. Get async player user ID. Okay, so this is a local function of setup player player ID. 
session ID player, and then it returns a table. So take this back out. I'm going to set this back to zero so you guys, whenever you're joining, don't get $200 right off the bat. <clears throat> Warning, cannot access the store for player. Nope. Uh, save player data. So since we are finding this, let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, save player data. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't need to because we found data. So the data is saved. It did a call. It said, hey, my user ID is in there. All good. All right, let's go back and get this get stat function. Function, there, stat manager, get stat player, stat name. We don't need value. So, equals number, section whatever, plus value. Okay, so I should be able to just return this, return paste, right? But we need to set up player ID. Okay, hopefully this one works. Function to return a stat. Fire? No error. Stop. Let's go back over to the leaderboard. So let's take this out. Player stat manager, just here. Oh, do I need this local? That's still not gonna work. I'm gonna get an error. Error, yes, there's errors all over the place. Why not get an error? Because that's that's what we're doing today, you know? Oh wait, call stack. Hey hey, that's what I was looking for a second ago. <clears throat> Service storage, player stat methods. Explanation line twenty seven get status, yes. So the local variables are player and self. Stat name. Uh, user ID, storage service. Ooh, what's this? Parent is my number. Oh, it's even got like place ID. Cool. Okay, so basically this just breaks down the architecture type of the player user ID. Player user ID is inside stat manager. That doesn't sound right. Player user ID should be... Okay, hold on. Stop. Print. Player.user ID. What did we get passed into it? Should print it. Is that my user ID? 119529. 11, 11.95.29, yep, we're good there. So we're passing in the right one. <clears throat> oh, am I passing in quotes? Tell me that's not true. Okay, that's not true. <laughs> Stop. Uh, so, we're getting this. Let's do this. Copy, paste. And then I'm going to do comma, stat name. This way we can see what's getting passed in. Yeah. This player, money. That's what I want, right?
can we do print session down? What does that give us? Here. Stop. Play. Print session down. That's a table. We can do um, <coughs> for index comma object in pairs session data do print i comma o whoops o like that so we know that we're getting session data now we need to see what's inside session data so i'm just going to dump the whole thing dump it mm. oh Let's comment that out. Because we're not. We didn't call it. Okay. Go back over here to the leaderboard. And then uh, let's just call this paste. Give this a value of 200 for now. Player money. So we should be able to just call it from here because we on player join. Player. Okay. Can't separate through the top so I can see what I'm doing here. Print. Calling the function. function for it. Calling the function didn't get anything. Alright, hit stop. Let's get back over to the player manager. Uh, where's the get session? Print. Function was called. Okay, so from the first script, the uh, leaderboard, I'm calling the stat manager function. The function was called. <clears throat> we know that session data is a table. So print hashtag. This will give me a count of how much is inside the table. Which should be more than one. It should just be one. But it's zero. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Let's go back up here. Uh, let's, let's start off the bat here. <clears throat> when a player is added, connect, set a player. So we come up here to set a player. Player is passed in. Player user ID is player underscore concatenate player ID. So it's it's the player underscore thing. This actually calls an async to a table. Player data get async user ID. Okay, and then the session data equals data, so the table that gets returned. If not, then it sets up a new table of values. So for all new players coming in, it automatically just gets money. <clears throat> but for anybody coming in afterwards, it's just data. Or what's already there which is also why it would mess up if you added more things later on down the road because somebody that gets saved you would have to check their data <clears throat> so okay so this is actually it's like a table within a table so hmm, how do I explain this 
Okay, we're just going to call this master table. Uh, session data, like that. Okay? And hopefully this makes more sense. So this right here, player underscore my value, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And then player zero, 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 zero. This is actually two different people or two different session data thingies. And then inside here, oh, and that's a bad example. Let's take this and move, move it down three. So paste, there we go. So let's merge these together. Do the center just like that. So then this one would be like money, money, 13, uh, XP, 2000, and has power, yes, but this would be like uh, its own little tables of values. Does that make sense? That should make a lot more sense. Stretch that out a little bit. So the session data contains two things. It contains the user ID and then a table of that person's stuff. Why did I get so confused on that? I've seen this before. I've used this before. Crazy. Hmm. Okay. So this actually does uh, player async call. This is saving the data. Set async session data user ID. Set async passes in that, and then it passes in the data. So it's that that table. Um, if it's not a successful call, meaning that it was actual like lag or connection issue, then you get nothing. It, it returns a big warning, cannot save the, the data file, which we're going to have to come back in and tell the player, like, hold up, we didn't save. We can do that later, though. Can I access the data for this player? So let's go back over to our session data. We're going to have to split out... local session data. Local session data. So I could just use self, right? Let's see, where did that get stat go? Get stat. Player stat manager. Get stat. Player. Stat name. So... <clears throat> Print self dot session data like that. Oh, no, that's gonna work. Go fire. Call in the function index. Attempted to index field session data, a nil value. That doesn't make any sense. Um, print session data. We did that already, right? Stop, stop, stop. That's a table. So, oh gosh, why do I keep losing my place here? Print hashtag. Can we do index one? No, index doesn't work. Index in pairs 
this session data do print i comma x go So you guys can see that. Do, 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 do. It didn't call it. Why didn't it call it? Stop. Oh, because I took out the call for it. <laughs> there you go. This is a warning. Mesh provider. Uh oh. Could not fetch. Something's going on. Bad calls, bad calls. Though, do you see like my avatars? Uh oh, the internet's crashing. Oh, it's Thanos, snap! Oh gosh. Okay, so it's been wow, wow, you guys. I am so sorry. I get so into trying to figure out the the problem that I get stuck on these little things, like sitting here for over an hour trying to figure out why I'm getting a nil value. And it, sh it shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't have this many problems with scripting. But I tend to overthink and overanalyze and I want to figure it out. Here, let's close that and let's close the laser beams. We're not actually using these today. We're just using these. Um, money dot name equals money. Okay, we're just making the call this over here because this is what we're actually getting the call from. I don't need an actual warning. Made the call, call complete. So we're getting nothing back from the session data. What does that mean? Player stat manager session data. This is a local table that holds information self dot okay hold on self dot session data bad argument number one pairs table expected got nil we shouldn't be getting a nil because there should be an internal table self dot session data table to hold the player information for the current session so what is that under is that under G it's not global it's local to the module It's a table. Anybody out there happen to know how I can see what's inside that table? Because we can see that there's a table there. Wait, can I open link? Go to source. It only allows me to go to the source, which is session data right there. Session data. What if, I, what if I do session data one like that? Is there anything there? Play. Nil. There's nothing in there. Oh, 
Oh, wait a second. Stat name, stat name. Session data. Player stat name equals session data. Well, let's just do this then. Can I? Can I just do an git async? Hold up. Because, I mean, we call it down there. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Player user ID. Copy. We're going to use this. Local player user ID equals player underscore dot dot player dot user So on this successful call, it sends back the data. On this successful call, return data, and it should be indexed by stat name, right? Whoa, 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 get back up there. So money, if I pass in the word money, should be indexed to money. That didn't sound right, fire. Fire away. Function called. Mesh content provided. I have no clue what happened there. Okay, stop. We're in an hour. So I may have just messed that up, but that's okay. I don't mind. Function complete did not happen afterwards. Let's hit F5. Go again. Function called. We're not getting any kind of return. Oh well. I'm done for now. Thank you for hanging out with me. Mm, this was, you know, I'm going to have these kind of sessions. I'm going to have really good sessions where you learn a lot, and then I'm going to have other sessions where I'm just going to get stumped. And that's what this is it's me programming live, I guess. Mm, so, you know, it's not going to be this sit down and go through the tutorials every single day, this exact same thing. This is the session that we're going to learn. It's going to be me literally sitting here painting a picture of what is going inside the game for you. And it's also practice for me because um, not to like break the illusion, but I have not worked with data services that much. I mean, I'm great at doing the local stuff inside scripts and programming all day long, but the the data storage service has some, been something that's eluded me for a very long time. Um, I can see what it's doing. I can tell you what is supposed to happen. I mean, I'm supposed to get data back and it's supposed to be indexed. So let's let's just do print data. Can I can I do a print data? Would that be too much to ask? Print, printed a table. Perfect. Mm. So let's do this. For index object in pairs data. Doop. Print. I come O. So this should print out the index and what it is. Money. 200 right <clears throat> wait is that the index success if 
I equals stat name then right turn O there's no way that's true hold up and that's a horrible way of doing it because I mean I don't want to <gasps> what did we what is that oh wait wait <laughs> <laughs> I said that to 200 a second ago. Hold on. Uh, let's go back over to the leaderboard. Mm. Uh, value is get stat. Copy that. Pull this down here. Kick that out. Watch it fail. It's going to fail. Yeah, it failed. Because I'm supposed to have 200 as the return value, right? Return. Hmm. Uh, local. My return equals nil. Turn equals O. Oh. And then down here at the bottom, return. Oh. Function is complete. Return my return. No, that didn't work. Oh well. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, Let's Make a Game. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, we have karaoke and live stream happening tonight. As always, every Friday, every Saturday, hanging out, live stream, doing things. And, yeah, love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I think I said that already. But it's really up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. I will talk to you guys very soon. Have a great night. And outro.